So there are really only three things we all need to be successful, regardless of the goal. And these three things are number one, intention. What is your intention? What is your goal? What is it that you want to achieve? In other words, notice where you're at and where would you like to be instead? Or what are you aiming toward? That's pretty easy for most people because most people know what it is they don't want and what it is they want instead, right? And spend some time with this. Number two is attention. Where is your attention at? And I'm sure you've heard the phrase, where energy go, where attention goes, energy flows, right? So what you focus on, you're going to give more energy toward that and also receive energy back from that. So in other words, if you are, are you focused more on your disempowering beliefs or your empowering beliefs? Are you focused more on the negative emotions that come up or the positive emotions? Are you focused on lack or are you focused on abundance? And obviously the key here is to continue focusing on where is your advantage? What do you already have? What are the resources that you have? What is the wisdom, the knowledge? How can you think more empowering beliefs, right? And number three is action, taking action. And believe it or not, this is where most people get tripped up and they don't take enough action because often self-doubt creeps in, fear, disempowering beliefs, things like, I'm sure you're familiar with this one, procrastination, self-sabotage, and then this imposter syndrome, right? That causes us to feel like a fraud. And by the way, those obviously are not useful because those will cause even more procrastination. So I would love to hear from you specifically, what do you think might be stopping you from not taking enough action? Because the thing is, the universe loves action. That's how we ultimately manifest. That's how we ultimately put things into existence. And if we just keep dreaming and wishing and hoping, nothing's going to happen, right? So let me know what do you think is stopping you primarily from taking action. And then the next step, the next TikTok, we're going to work on how we can break through those blocks. Often they're subconscious. And what I mean by that is you might have to dig a little bit. What is it that you that you really think is holding you back, right? And so spend some time with this. And again, next TikTok, we're going to go deeper into how you can overcome these subconscious blocks so that you can take action more consistently with more motivation and really feel energized and inspired. So let me know in the comments and follow for more.